Hi guys, my name is Alamu Diagonai. Welcome to 13 Questions. Seated with me today is one of my dearest, sweetest friends. So the first question is obviously her introduction. So what does your name mean and what significance and impact has it had in your life? Hi guys, my name is Olubomi Obozua. Olubomi means gift from God. God gave me this. Um, it's been a very um, impactful name. I honestly, I haven't had anything that I've asked God for that He hasn't given me. Oh, wow. That's, that's um, are you asking for a deal? <laughs> <laughs> for instance, little things as little as oh, I want, I want to have two boys. Oh, okay. And God gave me two boys. Oh, wow. So, um, why did you want to play? Because I grew up with four brothers and they were easy going. Okay. I, they were easy to get along with. I think I'm just used to having guys around, around. Okay. and I didn't want the emotional stress of girls and I didn't, I didn't know it. And when I used to see my friends who were so emotional and, you know, very girly, I, 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 I never got along with them. I've this always is had. Part of the question. Does that mean you're a tomboy? Well, I am. I'm ladylike. Okay. I dress like a lady, mm -hmm. but I think I have a mind of a of a guy. Tough. Yes, I'm tough. I'm 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 not as emotional as girls, mm -hmm. and um, I'm realistic. Mm -hmm. I like that. I'm realistic about things. Mm -hmm. I move on and get up and dust it off and yeah. go on. And I don't sit back rational. and. <laughs> yes, I'm rational. Exactly, That's I'm very so rational about you life. So yes, I'm very know. rational, yes. So I'm how did rational. your upbringing affect your characters, your skills, and your belief system? Um, growing up with four boys, mm. four brothers, I have never been the type to say, um, I've been very patient. Okay. Yes, very, very patient. It takes a lot of patience to, to, live, around to live around guys, <laughs> yes. So, you know, the um, little things like, um, my mom would say, Bumi, the boys have finished eating, go and wash their ah. dishes. And I'm like, why should I wash their dishes? Did you feel like you had to fight for technically like your feminine rights? Like yes. Equal rights in the family? Well, not exactly. I just, I just settled into my role. Okay. As a girl. And it, it made me better. I never, I, stepped, I stopped getting angry. I used to get really upset at first, but then when I settled into the role, and you know what, these are guys, they would not change. Do you think it makes you a better wife? Yes, it does. I'm very, very patient. I'm, okay. I'm very patient. Mm. And I, I'm very toler tolerant of things. of things. Yes, I'm very tolerant of I things. I find that, um, are you the only child or girl child? No, I have an older sister. Much, much older. Much, much older, yes. So I lived, and then she, she left the house Earlier. earlier so i lived you're, you're like the baby of the house to her like she can't exactly to you. she can't she can't mm. she can't and so my brothers six 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 so we're four bo four boys and two girls two girl. yes wow. so i have two older brothers and two younger brothers mm -hmm. and so they shaped me with all the ages of yes guys. yes so nice. it shaped it shaped my my thinking, my upbringing, and I just settled into that role, and I stopped being upset about it. About things that guys do. <laughs> exactly. I think because you see it all. I I had one older brother, but my older brother was famous in school. Okay. So he had his passing, and they had like all my brothers. Mm. So which is how I know you. Cause yeah. One of so imagine sleepovers friends. with the guys. You need to cook for them. Like you need to tidy up. If one of them fights in school. All of them are coming to our house. Exactly. All the other moms and so mm -hmm. it, was, it teaches you a lot about women and the way they handle guys as kids. I think yeah. that helped me handle my own sons as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next question we're going to is: Are you spiritual or religious? I would say spiritual. Or would you say both? No, spiritual. Okay. Religious means the going to church every day, and yeah. that's what. Yeah, religious. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that at all. Some people do Bible study on Tuesday, no, Wednesday, Thursday, no, Friday. No, no, I'm not that at all. Spiritual, I can be in the kind of mornings with my boys. Sorry, I talk about my boys a lot. In the kind, in the kind of morning with my boys. Mm. And we just 
start talking, speaking on a subject. It doesn't have to be related to God directly, yeah. but I can... Goodness, values. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Spot on, exactly. And so we just say a short prayer before they go into school. And like what's spiritual, not religious, not religious. Mm -hmm. I feel bad sometimes that my okay. kids are not, we don't, that, that I don't, um, what's Do that the word? traditionally religious. Like, yes, with them. Like, I can relate to that because I would normally tell people that we didn't grow up going to church. Mm. My mom went to church, but she mm. went to early church. And okay. daddy was supposed to take us to church. Mm. But you know how that... Uh, he would just relax. We would get there when church was over. over. Mm. So I couldn't relate to memory verses that other kids mm -mm. were doing. I couldn't relate to those yeah. things. But the value system that my mom and my dad taught me today, I feel like they're the backbone of who I am. Definitely. It's, it's not really what you do in church or yes. at church, which is on one day out of mm -hmm. six, mm -hmm. the other seven, seven days. days. It's what you do every, every day. day. So, and I think that that's something that Nigerians miss on. Yeah. They're too engulfed in the one day activity. And Everybody yes, will see you do something scriptures on and stuff like that. But I want to teach my children to, you know, give, yeah. be kind, yeah. love, be empathetic towards the other ch other children you see in the mornings while you're going to school and they have no shoes on. You know, think about things like that. Not... Not the frivolous church thing. No, no, no. I'm not sounding like a So taking. spiritual, not, <laughs> yeah, not, not religious. religious. Mm -mm. So what could religious saying or um, just saying in general do mm. you think has guided you the most? What is it? Do you have a particular quote that you're, you feel like has guided your life so far? No. It's just general. No saying. No, no saying. My Angelo code, no, no, no. <laughs> nothing special. I have a ton of them, so I, I'm sure we'll be getting to it. Mm, um, no, not, nothing in particular. Okay. No. So really, the next subject is about money. Okay. Um, I normally say things like wealth and riches are very vague things in our culture. What Naira value do you think if you have will make you feel rich or would you believe that you're now rich? Naira value. 30 billion, I'm only joking. <laughs> so oh, well. Well. <laughs> oh my goodness. Naira value. I'm not joking about this 30 billion. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know that I have arrived. Right. Oh yeah. goodness. Oh, I feel like people say it in a fantastical way. Like, when, when you're faced with the reality of having 30 billion... I don't know. I, exactly. I'm thinking about, about it about now. It like I'm not even thinking 30 billion might not even be enough. Or, or, or 30 billion, mm. it's such a large amount that you can't even imagine. I don't even know what I'll do with 30 billion. I think most people would do it. I don't think I can even put a... Pr I don't think I can put a value. Honestly, I don't think I can put a value to it. Most people say like 100 million. Well, I feel that once I have the basics, I have my house. I'm healthy. I have um, access to good health care. And then traveling. And I, traveling comes with shopping. Yeah, no, not, not, ex not exactly Indian. shopping, but just traveling and good food. Yeah, but it comes, it comes with it. It comes with, but to put a value on it, it's, it's hard. It's hard. It's very hard. It's if very you hard to put a value on it. Compliment yourself. What would you say? Ooh. Phys physical attributes or. It, as many compliments as you want. Oh, wow. Yeah. Stunning. Uh-huh. I want you to say, say, I am stunning. I am stunning. Uh-huh. I am kind. Aww. I love. I like that. I love and I am patient. <laughs> Is that a compliment? Yeah, because, a I mean, compliment. If you because see it's, it's something that say, many oh, people don't have. Very patient. Yes. Like patient person. Yes, I think, yes. If, I, if I'm complimented as a patient person, yes. And um, just getting in that groove of feel good because most people are not in the mindset of telling themselves nice things. things every day. You know, we hesitate because we also feel like it's not the expected thing to do. Yeah. Like, it almost sounds arrogant. Yeah. Oh, I yes. I, and I would say I am content. I am content. Not many people are content. content. Yes, I am content. It's an attribute that many people don't have. Don't have. I'm content. So what do you know about yourself that is hard to communicate to others? People see me as... No, I won't say rough around the edges, but people see me as hard. Mm. 
very That's hard. That's the strength yes, that you have. Yes, yes. And I think it's, it's because of my upbringing. Mm. I, I don't show emotion on the outside, but when you get to know me, yeah. I'm actually soft. Are you a softie? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm actually a softie. Oh, wow. And um, yeah, people see me as hard, but I'm not hard. Yeah. I'm just realistic. I'm, and I'm, I don't think that there's a way that we can actually communicate that to others. Because you no, can't they, you have to get to know me. Yeah. You have to get to know me before, yes. Before you know that. Exactly. What difficulty or life struggle would you say that you've had that has shaped you and how? Yes. Okay, I lost my parents at a very young age. And um, it opened my eyes. I lost my dad when I was 13 and my mom when I was 23. I was still in, I think, yes, I was still in uni. Yeah, I was still in uni, I think just about to get into law school. And it opened my eyes. My dad's own more than my mom's, my mom's, because I was younger. And he just taught us to be content with whatever you have. Mm. And then with whatever little resources you have, you make, you make very good use of it. And more importantly, to be, what's that word? Can I speak Yoruba? Of course. That's, Ujukokoro is not allowed. Yes. Do you yes. understand? It's like you value the things you have. Yes, and, and don't look, it. yes. And then of, not, of course don't compare Compete with or compete with people. Do you find that it points to the unreliability of people as well? Yes. Because oh, yes, definitely. Because there are so many things that, or so many people that we thought would stand by us and we were disappointed. But really, they owe us nothing at the definitely. end of the day. They, owe, they don't owe you so anything. I think it also stops you from feeling, um, what's that word? Entitled. entitled exactly. Yes. So I am not an entitled person. Mm. That's, I think that's why. If people do yeah, fine. Yeah, if, if you do if fine, do if you don't fine. do fine, yes. Okay. So the next question is a bonus question. So you get to pick, let me mm. shuffle this. <laughs> so you get to pick one question from here. Random question. Okay, let me see what it is. Ew. Ah, I like <laughs> this one. I was hoping somebody would do this. Oh, really? It goes to the, the SWOT test that most people would do okay. for themselves during an interview. Mm. Do you ever see that a strength can turn around as a weakness and a weakness as a strength? And if so, do you have any? Um, yes, definitely, definitely. We, weaknesses, let me talk about weaknesses first. Um, in the workplace, yeah. even if it's as little as um, madame and house help, mm. or work, yeah. because to the, the work setting, work setting yeah. in the work setting, a weakness can turn into, for instance, maybe someone being slow, can be regarded as someone that is that puts attention so, to detail. Yes. So that's and it, a weakness. It can actually be something that they now attribute to you. Yes, exactly. You know, so your work will be known as yes. Give it to her. Yes, she, she would on, on time, time, but she will do an excellent job. I feel like the reason why that question comes to my mind so often is because most people don't want to own their weaknesses. Mm -mm, they mm -mm. don't know how to play it to their advantage. Yes, advantages. yes. And I think that as a society, we need to learn how to play everything to our advantage. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes your strength, doing things fast, can play can play against, against you, you and be too much work exactly, and all of that. exactly. And then you won't, and then you won't do it well. well yeah, true. And and you do a shoddy job. Spiral. Yeah, and then standards, doing things fast can make your standards f f fall. Oh, yes, yeah. That's very true. Mm. So what's the one thing you change about Nigeria? How and why? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigeria. <laughs> I think Nigeria I think I would change the religious. Um. Yeah, it's too much. And then with the with, with the rate with the high rate of uh, Yes. People are people are losing track of the realities of life. Yeah. How will I change it? I'm not, I, I think, I'm not going to say I'm going to shut down churches and stuff like that, yeah. but it's going to change the mindset of people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think Instead of building more churches, let us build factories. Let us build more hospitals. Because wow. people, people that are going to these churches, I know... They have problems. They have I mean, problems. It stems from a poverty... Mentality, yes. Well, because... And so I'm not saying that other countries have nothing to pray about. Mm -hmm. I just feel like for Nigeria, it becomes... People are gullible. People are really gullible. And, I mean, my, my background is science. 
Mm. So for me, it must be practical. It must yes. Be like an experiment. Yes. It must be, it's must mm. be workable. Yeah. There's some things you hear that they said one pastor said or one somebody said that. And they and just they are like, How hook line and sinker. Not yes. It, 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 it does doesn't be, exactly. You know, so does it, and then by the yeah. time you change their mindsets, I think things will just work better for us. And then other things that hopefully Nigerians can be smarter people. True. That's it. True. Because if we're really smart and educated, mm -hmm. then you can yeah. think logically about the things that you're being told and not logically. Just buy into think things. logically and, and think, think critically. Not just the church thing is that we are a facade people. Yes. So we buy into everything. If it looks like it, if it sounds like it's coming from an intelligent person, then it's then, okay. Then it's fine. So I think that that would want, want something I'll change. If you were a guy, a member of the opposite sex. Hmm. <laughs> Oh God. What would you do, or how would you be different? First of all, you grew up with guys. So. <laughs> I grew up with guys. I was a guy. What will I do? Mm. What was the question? What's, can, can you break that question down? Can you say slow, um, slower? I should say slower. Yeah. If you were a guy, okay. What would you be or do differently than what I've done now? That, than being a woman, what you're doing as a woman. Hmm. I will. I don't think I would. I would definitely dress differently. I think that's that's <laughs> that's that's easy. But thinking differently. Yeah. Because guys really think differently. But like, oh, I, I can't even imagine it. I think maybe you're lucky. You've had guys. Around. Yes. Because I, I. So that's. I, I'm already. I already friends. think like them. Yeah. Yes. I already think like them. And sure. yeah. So but I you don't think know. Think that women can ever think like guys. No. So what would you think differently? I know somebody has said They're more rational. that I would be a ladies' man, <laughs> that I'm a smooth talker. And it's easier said than done, though. Uh, yeah, it's easier know, said than done. I, 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 I think they might be right in that regard. But for me, I no. feel like I'll just be nicer. I won't be a player. Because I feel like when you're a smooth player, or oh. a smooth talker as a guy, you end up being a player. Yes, of course. It's it's, so, it's it's they work hand in hand. Yes. Yeah. So they work in hand I, in I hand. I just would I don't think no yeah. no 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 no. I don't think I don't I think I'll just dress differently. Dress differently. Do you think guys don't dress well enough? Oh they do. Nowadays. Some guys oh they are do. Very oh yeah, they do, they do. Okay. So if nothing was a sin, this one is a big one. Which one of the Ten Commandments would you hmm. gladly go at? I'll kill. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill. I will kill. That's yeah. once I get to heaven and God says, it's, it's, it's not, not a, a sin. sin. It's not a sin. And I was like, why didn't I kill some school moms? <laughs> why didn't I stab? Oh, I would oh, definitely okay, kill. Okay. Definitely I, kill. I feel like it puts a different perspective on it because you know it, it's, it's yeah. not wrong. Yeah, it's not wrong. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. And I think, oh, I think I will. I would, I would, well, I can't say for the kids because <laughs> what I would have done a <laughs> lot. <laughs> I'd have done a lot of that before I got before, married. Yeah, because that yes. checks you. Oh, it checks you. It oh, checks definitely you checks you. Lot. And I think that when people... I have this theory mm. that we are all animals and God should have just left us. And oh, like, you know, this like, world would be... Oh, I don't know if I should say this on camera. <laughs> when you just open up and let them do what they want to do, and you just go... But because of the moral... Oh, code, yes. It checks. Know, it puts it, everyone it puts in check. But in I would definitely, I would definitely kill. And I think it also makes you not think it's a bad thing. Yes. Like if everybody could do whatever mm -hmm, they mm -hmm, did, mm -hmm. like sexually and all that. <laughs> so this is the last big question. It's my most borrowed question from Oprah. Yeah. It's what's the one thing you know for sure? One thing I know for sure is that women cannot be men mm. and men cannot be women. Mm. We both have our roles to play. Yeah. God created women, woman and God created man. We are not equal. We don't have the same capacity. We don't have the same capacity. We are not equal and God is not, God is smart. Yeah. That he is one, yes. <laughs> so once you start say, trying to behave like a man or women's rights and yeah. we, 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 we have our role to play. Yeah. But when you say women's rights, what part of the women's rights? Equal. Mm. We're, we're not equal. We're just, we're different. Yeah. 
There's a difference between equality and so some yeah. Some people will argue. I mean, obviously, when it comes to man and women, in the workplace, will be equal no, there's pay, so, there's some responsibility some, and stuff like that. Do you mean maybe more in the home? More in the home. Yeah. I don't agree with. I don't agree with um, different pay when we're doing the same, same work. work. Okay. I don't agree with that. Yeah. But everybody has a role to play. Our roles might overlap. Yeah. Single moms are playing the roles of mom and dad, but doesn't make you, it doesn't fill the shoes as a dad. It's not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. As a mom, you're playing the role as mom and dad, but when dad comes, you see the difference yeah. in the children, you know? So it is not, we are not, men and women I feel like we are need not to just the same. get to the point where we need to accept that we're complementing each other. Exactly. And, and I think it's, relationships in general it could be a friendship it could be a mother daughter relationship it could be a sister relationship. sister relationship just yeah know that we don't have the same strengths and we don't, we don't have, have the same, same weaknesses where and we don't have the same role to play yeah where yes you fall short, i might be able to pick it up and where precisely I fall short. and i feel sometimes like the typical male role you don't always have to be a guy at work you don't Did you, get what you I don't mean? always have to be domineering or, yes. or, or have your way if, if you feel like you should be in a scenario, I mean, milk it, yeah. but it doesn't always have, have to, to be play that, that way. way. Yeah. So, yes. so I hope you had fun. I so did. That was, that was nice. See? We did good. Uh